Matthew from Clear Lake has manhole madness. <laughs> I hope it's not contagious. <laughs> I don't know. He has, he has two of them along his back fence. Mm-hmm. And I feel his pain because we used to have them in our old house, too. Mm. Matthew writes, they seem to be a home for insects. Oh, yeah. Boy, God, boy, <laughs> how, how do I mean to say yes, they are. Yeah. Especially fire ants. You know, we had, mm. and Matthew, hang on one second. got to tell you this little story. And in front of our old house... We used to have one of those, like, right on the point of the property. It was like almost like somebody had decided that this was the peak place to put a manhole. It's like, so every picture of the house had this manhole in front of it. And um, at night, in the summertime, you got there, and it would be crawling with these big cockroaches. Oh, yeah, it was just yeah. like it was there. It was their, that's their nightclub. Mm. Anyway, so Matt here has sprayed, uh, sprayed for, uh, with little success. I'm not surprised. I'm wondering, he says, what limits there are on covering the manhole cover. He says, can I seal them with caulk? Can I get a heavy tarp and caulk that around the neck so the tarp can be pulled up? Or can I, can I find any, I can't find anything, he says, that says it's illegal to cover up this manhole cover. As long as they have access and they can go down in here. Now, I want you to think about this. Men go down into those things. Yes. <laughs> yes. And those are and men. And all their friends, <laughs> they are men. Are men. <laughs> uh, so if they have to get down there, chances are no one will ever go down there. Uh, unless there's a major problem. So could you caulk it? Yeah, nobody's going to care if you caulked it. I, I wouldn't cover it with dirt and pour gra- put grass all over it and hide it. But as far as that goes, it, whatever makes you feel comfortable, I don't think anybody's going to give you a hard time. But I don't think it's going to help either. I tried putting a big, I got a big pot with some flowers in it, put it on top of mine. <laughs> and the roaches lived in that too? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it became the Roach Hotel. So. Now, let, me, let, me, let me just throw this out. And sometimes people don't want to go out and do the things that should be done. An exterminator could go down there and probably do a lot of good for you with the type of chemicals they have that you can't get your hands on yourself. A professional exterminator. Yeah, and then put that in the groundwater. It's awesome. I love that idea. Well, hopefully if they're doing it right and they're professionals and following the rules, that's where we can go okay. Mm-hmm. It's when people just start spreading that stuff no. all over the house and everything. And it's the, crazy. The thing is, Matthew, you know, based, uh, and I, I don't know for sure, but based on my own personal experience of trying to deal with one of these, Covering it up is not going to get rid of that problem. It's just Mm-mm. going to it's just going to migrate on top of it. They'll find a way in and out. So, ain't life a bitch. All right, looking for more help. <laughs> well, it is. I mean, what are you going to do? You moved in. There they are. You got to live with them. Sorry, I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, me. I'm keeping it real. All right, you want to keep your questions real? Send them to us at homeshowradio.com. <laughs>